Okay guys, so we've got the front end mounted on the chassis and uh, the next step for us would be to fit the, uh, the hood scoop. A couple options on the hood scoop, uh, if you have the actual engine you're going to use in the car, if it's ready to go and you can put it in, that's great because it'll help you uh, do the isolator tray at this point. If you don't have the engine, let's say it's not ready yet or it's a part or whatever, you can still fit the scoop because you're going to need to do that uh, before you send the car off to paint. But you can't really do the isolator tray because you're not going to have a location for it. So you can still fit the scoop to the hood and get it in the right position, but you can't really do the isolator tray. So the ideal situation is just like we have here, drop the engine in that you're going to run in the car and go ahead and fit the scoop and the isolator tray at the same time. If you do it the other way, you're going to have to put the isolator tray in after the, uh, the car's painted. So a little uh, riskier working on the scoop after it's done. So now we, with this one, we have it finished up so we can roll right through and uh, Zeus the scoop on when it comes back from the paint shop. So, so we've got our front end mounted. Um, if uh, when we're doing that, we're not going to have the hood cut out yet. So we've got the front end mounted. We're going to take it off. We set the engine in. Then we're going to take a couple quick measurements off of the cowl and we're going to get us a rough cutout for the intake and carbs that are sticking through the hood. So we're just going to get a rough cut here around the nitrous solenoids and, and get a uh, uh, maybe like a cardboard pattern and transfer that to the hood so that we can set the hood back up on here and just clearance it for the nitrous solenoids and the carburetors so that we can get it on there. We can then take the scoop and set it on here and get it in position where we want it to go. So um, this isolator tray, this is the second part of the isolator tray here, but the, uh, the scoop then, once we set that up on there, we can position that scoop where we want it over the carburetor. So now we've just got the cowl cut out and the hood's got a rough cut hole in it and we're ready to put this scoop front to back where we want it. So just to kind of give you a couple of uh, pointers here on the scoop, you know, you want to make sure you got plenty of airflow in, into the carburetor. So you, you want to keep as much open space above the carburetors as you can but you also want to make the scoop low enough so that the driver can see around it. So there's a couple uh, just general rules that we use for fitting this is that um, the, the front leading edge of the scoop here, like this part here where it's going to close off, we want to keep that about three or four inches in front of the motor plate. That gives us enough room to put our regulators in here, run fuel lines and get all that stuff up in there that's going to go to the uh, nitrous solenoids and the carburetors. So if you can see our motor plates here about four inches ahead of that, we're going to have this area right here. And you can see that um, this, this flange has changed. This is not the flange that came on the scoop. This scoop in a stock shape um, set up a little too high because this is 632. Okay, so it's not a real tall deck. It's not a big high deck, not a, not a lot sticking out of the hood. So we wanted to push this scoop down as far as we could, give our driver as much visibility as he can whichever lane he's in. So we cut the bottom of that scoop off and fit it down flush to the hood. So we fit it to the profile of the hood on top of that cutout. So we've just got a clearance cut and then we set that scoop down and we used a Sharpie marker to mark around there and fit it down to where it set down flush on the hood and it gave us good area above the carburetors for an air inlet. So we've got it set front to back and we've got it set down where we want it. And now you can take that uh, same Sharpie marker and make a cutout around that, just make a mark around the base of this scoop, which would be right here. So, cause this flange is not gonna be on it. So you're gonna mark this around the bottom of that scoop. And then you're gonna cut that out. You're gonna cut that hood out on that line and then take this scoop put it back in that opening and then tape it into place. We actually use a couple little uh, uh, Clico plates, a couple little small aluminum plates bent at, at a 90 and we'll uh, help fasten that to the hood while we glass this flange on back onto the bottom of it. So we'll fit the scoop back in that hole and we'll use two plates on each side and they're just little 90 degree plates. They're gonna go here and here. So you can actually see a rivet right there that's existing from that plate. And what that did was that that had a little rivet in there and then one in the hood and that held that scoop nice and straight so we could flip it upside down on a stand and fabricate this flange right onto the bottom of this scoop so when we flipped it over we're looking at the bottom side of the hood and we just use a uh, 
uh, masking tape to protect the uh, bottom of the hood so we can we can glass to that and it won't stick so the bottom side of the hood now gets a layer of tape around it and then we'll take the inside of the scoop here and rough that up and we'll actually use carbon and resin and lay this lip up right on top of the bottom of the hood and roll it onto the inside of the scoop. Once that cures now, you've got a nice lip that follows exactly to the bottom of the hood. So that's going to be our, our mounting flange that the hood's going to set on when we slide it back on there. So once this is all body work, this will all look like it was the stock piece, but you can even see here we've got the little bump in the hood um, rolled in there because we matched the bottom of that uh, hood exactly to the scoop. So once we've got that done, now our scoop fits inside of our hood properly. And uh, the next thing we want to do is use these, fabricate these support stands. So this has got uh, Zeus, carburetor Zeus stands that are going to support the top of the hood scoop. So these come in a kit and they're long. These have been cut off and, and fit already. So the next thing we want to do is get our support stands fit so that the scoop will support itself when the um, front end is off the car. So we've got our Zeus stands cut to height and you can actually see the, the Zeus holes are already in the top of the scoop here. So those are going to line up with these holes here and Zeus down. So this goes into place. And um, so if, if we have, when we have this much here, we have the engine ready, we can do the isolator tray. So this particular scoop, um, we used a carbon isolator tray in it. So we have these, uh, the isolator trays available in aluminum or carbon fiber. So this car here, uh, we put a carbon scoop in, so our isolator tray, so you can see it from the front. So when this is all done, you know, well, this carbon will be exposed. So this car is going to be red, but this this uh, carbon uh, isolator tray will be exposed. So right now it's got plastic on it, but that'll all come off when we put the car together. So um, to do that, to fit that isolator tray, you're gonna need an adapter plate, which is this uh, piece of 050 aluminum. And you can see what we've made is an adapter that kind of uh, squares up the carburetors and gives us somewhere for the scoop isolator tray to sit on. So we've got this clearance for the the uh, float adjusters and we've got a uh, room, we've got an inch at the front and the back and we've got room on the sides now so that this isolator tray will set right on top of that. So if you look at this, you can actually see these holes here are going to be for the float adjuster sticking out of the carburetors. So now with this on here, I can slip this scoop up on here. Line up those loose holes right there. Okay. So now I'm gonna give you a little light here to see inside there. But let me just use my phone. You can see now that we've got a nice tight fit to the carburetor, so that this carbon tray is sitting right on top of that aluminum tray, and then it rolls up in the back, and you can see we've got plenty of room for air to get over the top of those carburetors and get into the engine. So very nice setup, very clean. Um, once it's finished, we'll have a couple of Zeus fasteners that are attached into the uh, top of the scoop. So the front end, it's gonna slide on, set over the scoop, it's gonna set on this lip here. Uh, we're, not gonna we're not gonna attach it here. We're going to um, uh, let that set on here. And so we'll have this, the scoop attached here. And then the front end will also hold that down tight. So that front end's gonna hold that tight down to this and, and seal it off on that isolator tray that we made the aluminum one to adapt to the uh, carburetors.